and as she prepares to play the sizzling leading lady in love interest of James Norton, Juliette Rylance has proved she has no problems playing a femme fatale, as demonstrated in The Nick. Resurfaced scenes from her 2013 role in the American hospital drama see the 38-year-old actress strip topless for a steamy sex scene Juliet starred alongside Clive Owen in The Nick, which followed the lives of staff at New York's Knickerbocker Hospital during the early part of the 20th century She previously spoke of her joy at playing such a racy character, telling Gold Derby, she has to be very buttoned up There is social etiquette of what's expected from her, and, obviously, she has to behave in a certain way, but there's this flip side to her, which I love She loves first and thinks later, and I love that juxtaposition between being very buttoned up in one sense and very unbuttoned sort of in privacy, so that's really fun Juliet will now appear in the BBC's big-budget New Year drama McMafia, where she stars alongside James Norton McMafia was inspired by Misha Glennie's non-fiction book McMafia, Seriously Organized Crime, which was published in 2008, but the majority of the main story is fictional Across eight-hour-long episodes, McMafia spins a multi-layered tale of corrupt politicians, money laundering, counterfeiting and human trafficking, bringing us close to this new criminal order In a Gideon World Tour, it takes in more locations than any BBC drama series has ever done before, visiting 12 different countries, filming in places as varied as the Egyptian desert, the Mumbai docks and Moscow's Red Square The drama tells the story of Dmitry Godman, Alex's father, and his mother Oksana, played by Alexei Serebriakov and Maria Shukshina, the Jack Nicholson in Meryl Streep of Russia, according to Watkins Some years before we meet them, they had been driven by a rival Russian gang boss into exile in England Living in Moros Vodka infused purposelessness, still under threat from their Moscow based nemesis, the couple had done what Glennie observed was a characteristic of the modern successful gangster they put their children through a classic English education, 